All right, we're back here at the media school, though. We want to take you to Indianapolis. The Indiana governor's race, of course, was decided earlier tonight. Republican Eric Holcomb defeated Democrat John Gregg, 51 percent to 45 percent. It's about 77 percent of the precincts reporting. Uh, this marks the fourth consecutive win in the governor's race for the GOP. And now we're going to go to Eric Holcomb live to hear his victory speech. There he is. There's Eric Holcomb as he makes his way to the podium in Indianapolis. He's still making his way, Governor GOP, gubernatorial candidate Eric Holcomb, never been elected. What a great night, huh? I was gonna say to public. As we're out on the campaign trail, we always talk about politics is a team sport, and you can see we've got a great team up here. Well, it's a great privilege tonight for me to have the opportunity to introduce to you your next Lieutenant Governor, let's welcome Suzanne Crouch. Good evening. I am proud to be a Republican. Woo! I am Suzanne Crouch, and I'm honored to be able to serve as your next Lieutenant Governor. And on behalf of Eric Holcomb and myself, we want to thank you for having the trust in us to take Indiana to the next level. You know, when Eric asked me to be his uh, running partner and governing partner, I immediately said yes because I know Eric Holcomb, and he represents everything that is good about Hoosiers and good about Indiana. He has a heart for public service. He has a love of Hoosiers, and he is going to take Indiana to the next level. Welcome our Lieutenant Governor and the Governor of the Great State of Indiana! Well, race fans, we just captured the checkered flag. We are not competing anymore, we have won. Let me uh, start by saying I did just speak with uh, former speaker John Gregg and I, I wanna share with you a little bit about our conversation. I thanked him for a spirited campaign, thanked him for engaging in civil debates and for putting himself forward for public service. While we may not agree on every single one of the issues, we do agree on the importance of serving the public. And so he is to be applauded for putting himself in the arena. Let's thank John Gregg. But, but the folks that I really need to thank are the folks in this room. And rooms like this all over the state of Indiana. If you are still up watching, I can't wait to be in your neighborhood soon, and you know I will be. I want to personally, personally thank each and every one of you who poured your heart out over these last hundred days. When we kicked this thing off, you heard what I heard. You heard, Holcomb can't raise enough money. Holcomb can't put a credible statewide campaign together in this short amount of time. Holcomb can't do this and Holcomb can't do that. 
Well, they were partly right. Holcomb couldn't do it, but we did. We did it because we have the best volunteers in the nation. We did it with a remarkable ground game. We did it with people in their office and at their home. And it starts at my home with my beautiful bride. Will you say hello to Janet, my wife? <laughs> Janet is not only a certified shooting and safety instructor. Don't mess. She's also the vice president of a small family business and a darn good artist. But most importantly, she is my best friend and my best friend and at times my chief critic, if you can imagine that. Thank you for being the love of my wife, life, Janet. I I know, I know you're gonna make an outstanding first lady of Indiana. And then there is my soon-to-be governing partner, Suzanne Crouch. You know, when I asked Suzanne to uh, join me, I knew that she wasn't just a home run. I knew she was a bases-clearing bases grand slam. She brings it all to the table. Having served at the local level, at the state level, in, in the executive branches and in, in the uh, legislative branches, she simply gets it all. And that's a good thing considering when I told her, as she mentioned, that I wanted her fingerprints all over everything that we're going to do to take this state to the next level over the next four years. I also want to thank my two predecessors. It's because of former Governor Daniels, that I first came to state government back in 2005. He taught us to aim higher. And it's because of my current boss, Governor Mike Pence, that we proved this state works. I also want to thank Senator Coates, who I have learned so much from during my time with him. It is because of their collective, proven leadership that Indiana finds itself in the position that we occupy today. Mitch Daniels built a foundation. Mike Pence added a couple stories. And Suzanne Crouch and I are going to add story after story after story as we take Indiana to the next level. And there is not a minute to spare. We accomplished a lot in, in my first 100 days, our first 100 days on the campaign trail. Now it's time to move forward to the second 100 days. And that doesn't begin in January. That begins tomorrow. Tonight we're going to have some fun. I mean really fun. We're going to celebrate this success, and we're going to celebrate our future. Tomorrow we begin anew, and we will focus on people, people, people. I mean not just people in the Holcomb Crouch administration. I mean those people that are going to join us in the coming weeks, that are going to sign up to take this state to the next level with us. That's why tomorrow afternoon we will be meeting with my transition team to start setting the stage for the work we aim to accomplish in the first 100 days of our administration. And it begins with assembling a team. Some of you here will join that team. We're going to build a team of public servants solely, solely dedicated to the continued prosperity of our state, people who care about Hoosiers, people who demand excellence, and people who serve others above all else. 
Our team will bring transformational and generational equation-changing policies and projects to Hoosier communities, large and small. No corner of our state will be ignored, and no Hoosier will be left unclear of our focus on economic development, community development, excellence in education, and providing good state government at a great taxpayer value. And no legislator, no legislator or local government leader will be ignored as we seek your input on how we grow our economy, enhance our communities, and protect all Hoosiers. Together, we're going to not just keep Indiana on the right track, we're going to keep Indiana on the right trajectory because, folks, you ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you all. Let's make some history. So the last words from Governor-elect Holcomb, you have not seen nothing yet. And uh, we'll take one quick look again at the results for Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb at 52 percent, John Gregg, the Democrat, 45 percent, Rex Bell, Libertarian, at 3 percent. New Senator, new U.S. House District representatives, a new state attorney general, new state superintendent. We have much, much more on our website at WTIUnews.org. We're pretty much done with Indiana local races. We'll continue to update those at the bottom of your screen. And of course, we'll be live online throughout the night. But now we're going to go ahead and hand it over to PBS NewsHour for full national coverage of election 2016. Joe Wren reporting from the media school at Indiana University. Thanks for joining us. Good night.